Hey folks, welcome back to where in the world is Noble Rambler? Ah, yeah, Manor Lords and Gimli, that's where we are. Okay, I don't think we've dropped into Gimli that often. Um, Gimli, last time we had problems with fuel and we were building this. So let's get, let's get two families in there. I don't think there's anything else building, right? Oh, there's this guy, but that's not important, but I'm sure it'll yell at me in a little bit. But that should satisfy them. Otherwise, we are tanning to get the... Let's see here. Do we have... No, we don't have clothing variety yet, but we will. And storehouse. Somebody in there? Yes, somebody in here? No, because there's somebody in here and they're running the food stall. Okay. And unassigned families to guide the ox. I assume that's here. And was there somebody in here? No. So, because oh, there's two in the firewood. All right, we're, we're good here. Let's head over to Samwise. And I got a comment that was kind of interesting. In fact, I wanted to verify that. Because um, I didn't know it. Or I, I guess I'd never noticed it. Was it last episode that we had barley piled up down here and getting ruined in the rain? Now, last night I went to record and I was... I was so tired last night, I really couldn't care less if the flax fertility had ever returned, so I decided probably not a good night to record, so I took a night off. <laughs> anyway, got a comment that said if you want to have them collect that quickly and easily, have the large granary focus in on it, and I didn't realize that we had a work area zone. Okay, I'm, I'm set to unlimited, but I could have taken this and zoomed and way in and said just just work on that spot i didn't even know that existed so good to know i assume the storehouse has the same yeah okay of course we've seen those in the uh, uh the logging and the firewood and what have you so you are definitely no work area okay uh communal oven and this so we're well we've got, we've got quite a mass exodus going on here are you guys like done are you looking for for instructions um nobody's plowing you're plowing okay so let's see what we've got going on you need to be sown you are almost sown you are just starting you are done you are done this one starting this one done and this one these are all barley um, no, wheat. Where am I? Okay. You are done. Barley's up here. Okay. Right there. Done. Almost done. And done. Okay. So, October, we're going to have this done by the time it switches over to November. Except that they all went home. They really did all go home. Um, we are still loaded here. We are. Um... Or did they? Uh, they're, well, okay, a few are going back. No. You're plowing. You're casting seed, okay. You are sowing. You're going home. No, you're coming in to sow. Okay, some of them have, uh, have got their new marching orders, apparently. The rest are... Transporting shields and spears. They always seem to do that. Every the beginning of every episode. It's almost like they they have to go and reload their house all over again with their weapons. It's really odd. I've noticed that throughout pretty much the entire series. Just turn it on and they are dealing with spears or shields. That's just it's just a man of lord's thing. It is. Okay. Um there is one more thing I meant to squeeze in the last episode, and as I was editing, I realized I forgot it entirely. Jane had written in a couple episodes ago with an idea that sounded really odd to me at first. She said the uh, the best design for a, a plot that she has seen for vegetables is something that she saw on Tacticat's uh, series, or uh, channel. And it had to do with corpse pits. And I, I read that, I read it again, and I, I thought, are you telling me that, that corpse pits 
will what fertilize the land and and make it you know better for vegetable gardens what what but i realized she was talking about a uh, a measurement system that roughly what he's discovered is that a field about this size brings in 25 crops so you have a way of measuring if you want 100 crops you need four of these in size that sort of a thing and if you were to take three of those and make an l it makes the best um plot to do vegetables so essentially what we're talking about is coming up making an l so we'll go up like so and essentially we're making a big square but we're taking one corner out so we'll go half the length about here and then half out over to about here and then it's hard for me to remember to click twice i just want to move on to the next one so a shape something like that and the idea of, of why the roads is that, like you've seen me do, was it over here? Yeah. Trying to force this shape right here, it wasn't going to let me unless I had something to bounce that point up against and wrap around. So you're using this as a as a cookie mold. Where am I? Here we are. Yeah. Now, one thing that he pointed out was that, uh, the Tacticat pointed out, is that it seems to work best when it's in alignment with the map itself so he now builds everything in a grid all aligned perfectly with the map but the idea is that when you are placing houses wherever is the beginning of your your outline or your, your points is where the houses face so that's your road access so if you were to minimize that in a little corner you could focus the houses right here and get this entire rest of it as a huge vegetable garden. And they'd have the least distance to walk compared to taking this span and going, say, out to here. They'd have to walk from here all the way there and all the way back every time. So it, it spreads the distance out the most evenly. So if you were to, I'll show you one that doesn't work, but it's the right concept. Let's say we have just a, a, a road footprint of that. Then you start working this around the best you can. We'll go, well, we can go there or there. I don't think it's going to work. But as you see, the shape of the house side versus the garden side, you can start to manipulate that. What seems to work best is to grab a corner and go in one notch. And then start wrapping it around and wrapping it around. As you move around here, things start to change their shape. And right there, we're missing a little corner. I think that was the point. It works best if you're in alignment with the map. Otherwise, little angles start to clip off. But as you get into right there, look at how little room is, is wasted on the houses and how much room is given to the vegetable gardens. And you'll have two houses. And when you get this up to tier three, you've got four families living in these two houses. So four families to be able to run that much vegetable is you know you're going to need it because that's a lot of work but that is a way of maximizing the vegetable gardens to get as much out of a plot as you can now that means building in grids and as you've seen i, I tend not to to do that I, I tend to curve and do all kinds of shapes and make it look i don't know as organic as i can so i won't be doing this method but I at least wanted to point it out to you guys in case it uh, was something that you wanted to explore yourselves but uh it's an interesting concept. It's, it's. I'm sure it's not what the game was intended to uh, to be used for, but it is there. You can manipulate it in ways to do something like that. And anyway, so over here, winter is approaching, and that's oh, still October. Okay, I would have thought that'd be a November first thing. And there is a flock of birds. We've seen the shadows so many times, we almost never see the birds. Can I? sneak one into my view not quite we'll pull out a little bit i was hoping to zoom in oh so close there there we go there's the texture of i want to say a raven it might be, just be a crow but i'm thinking they're a little bigger than that so maybe a flock of a murder of ravens is that what it is or is it a murder of crows i don't know, I think it's ravens Samwise, we were sowing the last of these. So last time we got a bunch of half Morgan crops in as a temporary 
area while we're waiting to see if it is possible to get back some of the original dark green uh, fertilization areas. So that's all we have in flax right now in dark green. This was originally, and it went away with the update, but we also used a lot of it. So I don't know if it is never coming back because of the update, or if it's going to come back just if I leave it fallow. So next spring we're going to check that out. This over here for Emmer is looking pretty dismal. So I'll leave the fallow status for a year and see if it ever returns to at least this green. If it doesn't, then we've pretty much just lost the, uh, the ability to make Emmer over here. It kind of went away. But we did bring in a lot of Emmer, a lot of wheat. So these guys are making the, the long walk to go and get the wheat from the grain from here, which is quickly being uh, uh, threshed into grain from the wheat. But I could tell the granary workers either here or put a little granary in and hire one family to do nothing but transport grain back and forth. But is that any different from hiring a second family here to do the same thing? It's you're involving two families, one here, one there, or both of them here. I suspect the net is about the same, so I'm not going to build another building. But you guys, where are we at? We have one family in here. Uh, we have five running all of this. Where are they at right now? Is there anybody not doing anything? Transporting and peddling. They're all transporting. That's what I was hoping for. For, the, for what, an episode and a half? We were fighting this. We have all kinds of animals in here. And we couldn't go and get them because we kept filling up our, our pantry and couldn't get enough out of here. Now we're in pretty good shape. So we could throw another family in here if we had another family. But we needed to get more people in the market to be able to empty all of these things. To be able to empty these guys out too before their pantry fills up. So, and they are also bringing over the, the flour. So this guy doesn't get filled up. So they're important. Um, same concept is with the storehouse. Do we have enough families to be doing this? If we get families that are just sitting and waiting, then we know we've, we've, we've overstocked this thing that there's, there's too many families and there's not enough work for them to do, but they need to be moving planks. So logs are fine over here. And what are the, our planks? Let's see, there is one family in here and what am I looking for right there? Planks of 66, so we're fine there. Rolled into November, anything important? Treasury change of two, of two. We've turned off um, taxes, that's why. Um, we're still in year four. At year five, we're gonna see our first King's annual royal tax. So taxes, we well, we took it down to five. Okay, that's interesting. 5% of that is 25? 10% is 56. So 20 some. Hmm. Yep, we only moved two. Is there more? Oh, oh, there we go. 30 from this side. So two from the other side. That's what happened. Two different settings. Um, you guys are pulling in right there. Taxes. You're pulling in 5%. From 36 versus 5% from 600 and something back you know a month ago so that's the difference okay so keep it rolling in we're gonna have to start paying an annual uh, fee so I want to make sure that we got something rolling through um, which means the towns need to be making some money in order to be rolling anything in so let's can we we cannot well, as soon as we're done here which we're basically there Let's run through this real quick. Uh, who is not done? 100, 100, saved, here we go. You are, I think we're all done. 100, yeah. I made the mistake a few episodes ago of just seeing that the growing was starting and thinking, okay, it's growing, that means this bar is done. To find out it was not done, 94%, 96%. It starts to grow a tiny bit as soon as the first seed is, is thrown in. So you're all done. And there is nothing more to do. Was there any wheat brought in? We still have some wheat. So let's pull you all back 
except for one and you will continue to thresh all right so now we've got people again so the the emergency um planting or plowing and sowing is over let's get one family making tiles let's get two families pulling uh clay out of the ground we're done with our stone we're done with our iron so we're down to just clay on this map what else really needs to be done where are we at here we're at 26 and 84 suppose we should put one in here just to make sure we, we keep logs coming in we've got plenty of these do we want to make war bows we were going to do that the Fletcher when it was time to start the, the harvest season so I didn't want to waste the people that permanently oh only one left really that quick and there's only one left okay um, you are are we yeah we we found out last time that the pack station system started to work and I didn't go far enough and I had to turn all these off we uh, we quickly brought right there all of the barley barley over and bankrupted the other town so barley over here now is 132 when it all came from over here and it was only one episode that it emptied us completely so we are out of barley over here so I guess for now until we either bring some back or decide that it's good enough and we'll, we'll leave it for a year I need to pull you out of there unfortunately I can't turn off the brewer now is there any malt left malt is gone so we've got a wasted family here thankfully it's not a double lot but one family is out of the uh, out of commission until we get more barley over here so to do that again to the another family for Fletcher that's a big question mark do we just bring the bows over and we now know that we can we know we can do we have extra bows war bows 12 so we could start making them again we've we wasted a family on it over here so we could turn that back on again planks over here 78 and we do have a family we had three families in here getting logs okay where were they getting the logs from and that looks different interesting wasn't it a couple episodes ago right after the update that I looked in here and it was all wooded and I was shocked that they had regrown so well and now we're back to grass again maybe it's just autumn maybe summertime it's, it's more lush and it's exaggerated or something could be okay but you guys are still bringing in logs and we're using them quite quick uh, there's only one family doing the planks there is one family hauling uh, the logs around though so that's why they're loading up these guys so quickly now and that's why the planks are, are working so well um, let's turn you back on and let's set one pack station to send from Sam oh you're still running I had turned these all off whoa I know I did I did that on camera how did they all get turned back on interesting I'm gonna have to check these things for some reason huh I'm certain we did that last episode anyway let me turn all these guys off real quick interesting I've done this three times now no barter click away go back it's still there it's not turning off what do I have to do to make it turn off besides pull all the families out which I meant to do but I didn't take the time because I was going to reset them for something else but interesting so do I need to hit enter no enter enter and click again it's going back to Samwise again wow okay well yeah there's a little issue well, in that case, we're going to see the bows are over here. So let's set you to war bows. Uh, as it is not alphabetical, so look for a bow and arrow. I'm going to bring back flax. And we'll do that maybe to two of them. So Samwise, war bows. Uh, there you are. And flax. And we'll bring back flax and get a weaver going over here. 
and then you, I guess I'm going to pull the family out. So there, there doesn't seem to be an off switch. Interesting. So that's something to be aware of. Did I get you? I did. And you. Okay. All right. Well, we have families again. Okay. What does that mean? That means if I can find you, the middle one gets turned on. And one family goes back into the storehouse. All right. So now we have four families left. Uh, how are we doing as far as 64% and tab? We've done these two. We've already chickened three of them. Three of them? Yeah, one, two, three. So we've got chickens in all of these. How is our food variety now? Um, seven months worth and meat and veggies. And enough eggs to have surplus. So that's what's important right there. So we have enough eggs, and that's about it, to have some surplus. So berries are gone here. I'm pretty sure berries are gone here, aren't they? Didn't we kind of... Uh, empty them no they all went over here they all went over here um i guess i could get some berries back too so what else pull arms these guys could use pull arms i guess we'll, we'll continue to use the pack system pack uh, stations storage is full on a saw pit okay everything else seems fine so let's see here um let's go here so if I were to create units in Samwise, we have one extra shield, we have five extra uh, spears, and I don't think we ever got any pull arms over here when we tried that one time, because there weren't any. Now what do we have? There was no iron, so we didn't make any, that's what it was. So pull arms at the bottom, 40. So we can stop making pull arms now. That's over here. Or did we already? We did. We switched it to side arms. That's what they're called? Side arms, yeah. So side arms now. We've got, got 21. All right. Um, where was that that I saw that? Here and there. So we've got over here. Uh, you are Gandalf. You are are Gandalf. Where is... Right there is Samwise. So we've got 27 plus 30, and we went for bows. So 30, 60, 84, 87. Okay. So we're not ready to play with sidearms yet. If we get big enough to get a third militia, then we'll maybe play with those sidearms. Otherwise, we could be selling them. Are we set to sell the stuff? Let's just see what has happened here. So over here, we are set without uh, dedicated trade routes, if I remember right. We have one dedicated trade route over here. Um, we're exporting out of the provinces, and we're keeping none. And I don't know when was the last time we actually made a sale. So people, waiting, waiting. So there is a problem. Are we bringing anything over? We're bringing nothing over. Do we have no more shields? Small shields, we have 73 and we're not doing anything. So, people again, guiding an ox. There's one person actually doing a job. Okay, so I'm going to fire everybody. You're fired, you're fired. Bring two groups back in. Hopefully they're not the same ones. And people, stocking goods. I don't get the waiting part, but... I guess maybe we'll guess that that's them resting. It's nighttime for them. Um, okay, so that's that. So we still have plenty of small shields to sell. We have plenty of firearm or sidearms. So we could be sending over pull arms for berries. So let's go that route. Pull arms are not that one. That one for berries. And this time we'll keep an eye on it and see. Uh, just at what rate they're actually moving. I was shocked at how quickly all that moved before. But they've also been working a lot longer than I expected them to because I thought I'd turn them off. So they just continued on. So that is done. And this one is still correct. Still correct. And I mean, can I trust these anymore? You're still correct. Do I put a fourth one on pole arms? Get some berries over here. 
I think we'll go ahead and do that. Put a family in. And you are pull arms leaving right there and returning with berries. Here we go. So berries are our trading commodity. And fallout, they are bottle caps. Here they are berries. <laughs> and eventually we're going to have to turn some of those berries into... Uh, into dies. Now, I do have a family in each one. You? No, I don't. Put a family in there and a family in there. And I did get that correct over here. Family, you are none and you are none. No family. Okay, that is all correct now. So that's going. We still have two families left. They are not building anything. And I guess they're just kind of randomly helping hauling logs out of the woods that kind of thing so the families if the, if they're not constructing they're they're grabbing an ox and doing stuff like that it's possible there will come a time when i will well no I, i'll take that back when i'll just delete some of these guys but we could be sending a lot of these over there to uh to, get to gimli as well that's probably one of our next uh projects now that samwise is getting pretty much set up over here is to start to uh, bring in all the important stuff over to gimli and it, i'm We'll, we'll verify this episode if it's true, but uh, it, it's kind of looking like... So we have zero pull arms over here. Kind of looking like the system's working again. So we'll keep, we'll keep track by pull arms. What was the other thing coming over? Berries for... Oh, uh, war bows. So war bows and pull arms are what we need to measure it by. And we don't have a bows or pull arms for Samwise. So you're right there. That's Gim Gandalf and that is Gandalf. Otherwise we're Spears and Retinue. Okay. So nothing is going to get stocked into a house for a soldier. Anything that comes over is going to be sitting in this list. And the list has six in it. So if we see that six change, that'll also clue us in because there'll be nothing else coming over and we're not making anything. So all that to say, no, we're not going to set up a Fletcher. <laughs> that was the last 15 minutes. Um, what else do we need here? Two families. We don't have... We, we need tier three homes. We do. In order to get another point... But we need to satisfy the tier 2 homes in order to maintain this. If we bring tier 3 homes in, they're going to be constantly thumbs down because we don't have enough stuff to maintain them yet. So there's a danger of getting into tier 3 too soon, long term. Hmm. So what do we need for a tier 2? We need tavern, which we haven't fired up yet, but we're going to have a limited... Uh, time span on how much uh, ale we've got unless we start bringing it in Okay, and I think we'll start bringing it in over there at Gandalf food supply you need variety At least two types so you need breads and we're there aren't we we are you on You are making grain you have made your grain That's the the farm. That's the the first farm come on now over here yeah so it's just the two grain left so is it all in here there's a whole bunch of it in there okay so one family in here and the communal ovens right next door so one in each is is all that we need these guys bring everything over and then these guys just transfer it back and forth and then all answer right back in there again so that's a perfect setup for for this and it just just happened to work that way this time so that's done. I have nobody out here building. So we have nobody in berries. Okay. We have one family in here and there's never enough. You're stopping at 10 and 11. So I could take you out. Let's just turn that off too. We will let these guys do all of the food stalls. How are, how is our, how are our wells doing over here? Uh, right there. Well here. A well here. A well there. We're pretty well, uh, we're pretty well welled. Um, if this guy burnt down, it, will well right there. Okay. Where else do we need to think about everything burning down? We, we got one right there too. So we're, we're good here. We've got one 
right here. And we stuck one a little further back. Now out over here, is there any reason? We have a main road, so we could keep this guy from burning down in this one by getting a well into here. All right, I think that's probably wise. And let's toss you a little further away like that. Since we have a family, let's give them something to build. Otherwise, this would make sense. Let's get a well over here close to this farm. There's nothing around here. Ooh, yeah, we need to do that. Is there one over here? There is one right there. So let's get one over here. How close can I go? I can touch right there a little further. All right, you accept it right there. I'll take it. So two wells going in, and that's as good a fire coverage as I can get. We'll be looking over here while we're on that subject. Let's see. Back over here, we got one there. In here, we've got one. Um, wait, do we? Why do I remember putting one in here? There you are. I didn't see you. Right there. Okay, so we're there. Over in this area, I we put one deeper in. Oh, we put one by the manor. Where is the manor? Over here. We put one right there. Okay. So over in here, we've got one right there. So I don't think we've got one over in this area. It would be wise. There's a lot to burn down over here. Uh, maybe this is foreshadowing. <laughs> maybe we're I'm doing this just in a nick of time. Let's get out a little bit further. What are you now? Uh, Forester? Forester. Back up. I mentioned I wanted to put more foresters in. Let's put you right there. So we put something else here if we absolutely need to. So you're going in there. I feel like we need something back in here. We did run a road to there. We can run that road through. Let's put one back in here just as just for an emergency basis. Just like so. Not taking any trees out. Okay, so this area is pretty well covered. We're there. We do have something in here. We did have something there. So, further around, buildings, somewhere in this area. Nothing there? No, nothing there. And that's December. Being... What? Being claimed. Hmm, interesting. I'm almost tempted to say no. I really am. We've got a pretty sizable number of armies right now. We amassed quite a uh, quite a show for that town raid. Is this where I put my foot down and say, uh-uh. Let's see here. You want to take the last possible province. Hmm... I guess it's time to find out what happens. I guess it is. I don't have the option to negotiate or use the king's favor. Now, would a show of force before I say no help? Let's play with that idea. If I were to tell my spear militia to rally and my pull arm militia to rally and my archer militia to rally and my spear militia to rally whereas they're all going to come out of their houses so I guess there and my retinue to rally and then head over here and am I committing suicide? I, I, I really don't know. Um, and say, uh-uh. Enemies declared. Yeah. So, status winning. <laughs> hey, we're, we're winning, folks. Um, days remaining 90. I said no. He unpaused. Enemy units are spotted. What does that mean? 
It means 36, 36, 36, and 18 are on their way in. They're coming in like so, and probably heading toward Gandalf. Let's get everybody to Gimli. We will, now I don't know if we will. We will have the home turf advantage if we're within our three or if we're within our one. Let's go with within our one just to hedge the odds on that one in case um, it really is within your own home turf. I've got the majority of, of these guys from here. Um, anything more I can do? Yeah, I could add some more of the of these guys Samwise retinue that's going to kill our funds available for um, um, for paying our taxes what would our taxes be it would be one coin per um, per person per family per family so 93 and where am I I guess I gotta pull out of this mode. I mean, stop, stop. There, pull down into here. So, what am I seeing here? There's, there are, oh, that's people. Is it people or house? Now I don't know. I don't remember. So it's either 49 houses and 33 houses. So 82, I think it is. And 92, 97 gold, or it's people. 15 and 93 so 115 minus 708 and so 208 267 and we're going to gain more as we go we gained last time resources added oh and I was explained what this was I, that, that stumped me last time everybody that just went into the military, dumped what they were holding, and it automatically goes to the uh, to the storehouse. So that's why all of a sudden we just got this huge amount. But we just got 30, 20, 16, looking for, oh, tithe paid, treasury 2, and treasury 30. I thought it was a bigger number than that. Hmm, I guess it would have been 30, yeah. 25, 30, yeah, it was 30. So we could raise those taxes again if we have to. I'm, I'm, I'm weighing through a lot of things right now. And where am I? 40 minutes? I guess that's going to finish this episode, is this, this battle. Wow. Okay. So if we were to get some more retinue here. So retinue is the 12. Let's paintbrush you. I can't. Let's do that and now do this. And let's just grab one, two. I'm doing the right one, right? Yeah. Let's take us down to like 150. We'll go to there. There's 18 of 24. Though, in this case, it is our lives at stake. I better go that route and find some other way to, 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 to find gold. I think I had better. Okay. So you guys are now all running in and rally okay so let's just rally you and get you going and then let's grab everybody and we're going to we're going to here i think we're going to here where is our most advantageous place as high up as we can get from them coming down from where they are it's it's up in here this is the place for the battle for us okay you're still forming up. Okay. Distance-wise. Now, what do we have up here? Show the battlefield location. Oh, wait a minute. What? Gimli. They're headed for here. Is that what it's trying to tell me? I think that's what it's trying to tell me. I didn't know that existed. What are you? Proposed to change the battlefield. Locked in early access. Use King's favor. Surrender. Locked in early access. Okay. Well, that just 
changed all the rules on me. Okay, well, um, what happens if, if I change the location? Hmm, I'm curious to see how this works. Otherwise, they're going to attack Gimli. Okay, but I want the home turf advantage. I'm curious to see what happens for a while. Do they continue their straight march? Nope, they have shifted over. They are heading in that direction. Unfortunately, we are the disadvantaged every part of this. They are coming downhill. We're going uphill. Yeah. Um, let me see that again. It's over here. Now, I don't have to be there, do I? Why can't I be here? I don't know why I couldn't. They're going to get there to stand there? If they are, then we could kind of lure them to wherever we wanted to, right? I wonder what happens. I saw this on Simi's episode two episodes ago, Simidium. He did a tactic that I call the, the semi maneuver. <laughs> he had he had a, a big force coming into his second town or his, his little town that wasn't ready to, to defend themselves. All they had was, I don't know, 11 or 14 bowmen, you know, archers. And that was it. He ran them across them. They took the bait. They followed him. He ran them right into his army and they walked right into a trap. Can I lure them? from here over to where we're setting up right here I'm thinking about taking you guys now and going to the battlefield which is here or even here okay let's get their attention let's meet them part way and find out if we can lure them let's get you guys to here kind of right in line with where they're going and see if I can go sideways and see if they start to head sideways to you. Okay, because they are definitely heading for the battlefield. And there's a lot of them. What exactly are they? You guys are... Um... Elderbolt. Retinue. You're the retinue. Ooh. Retinue of 36? Wait a minute, what am I seeing here? Uh, retinue of 36. How do you get a retinue of 36? We get 12 and we can put in one garrison. How's that fair? You are uh, Hildebolt's brigands. Okay. You are light mercs, archers. Okay. You are light mercs, infantry. And you are light mercs, infantry. Okay. We have one real army here. And you are definitely heading this direction. I want to know... Wait a minute. You're heading... Pull out a little bit. Let's go this way. Are you aiming at my retinue, or are you aiming at the battlefield still? At what point are they going to trigger? You guys... I think they're still heading to the battlefield. I think they are. Let's take you into here. We're walking them, not running them, so we shouldn't be losing much in the way of, uh, of fatigue or anything like that. I'm really just, uh, I guess, exploring this. Yeah. Now I wish they would speed up a little bit. I hate to do that. Okay, so we're, we're, gonna, we're committed to that. So what else is happening over here? Um, we've got everybody distributed where we need to. Winning 88 days remaining. 88 days remaining. So are you saying that they're going to go to the battlefield and just sit there? Is that what's going on? They're not heading straight in. Interesting. Huh. So I still... I guess I still need to know. Can I... Pull them sideways. So, is there anything that had to be done over here? Gimli's probably the one that's, you know, needs the most guidance right now. Um, we needed planks. We need a saw pit. 
So over here in Gimli, we have planks, we need timber. Uh, food and 21 months of fuel, that's what I thought. Yeah, you guys are going to just be uh, flying through that. So let's get logs and planks coming in. So you're over here now, and you're... we'll leave one not... Um, not assigned so that we can get this last house built. Did we? We did get somebody. We did get, uh, um, we're close enough. Oh, oh. You're running. You're changing positions. Big time change. And you're changing your direction. You're coming after us. It's working. Okay. So I can lure them. Alright, then let's lure them. I want the... The... Samwise Retinue. Right there and all the way across. And aim this way. You guys, come on in here. We'll use our Retinue, just the, the Gandalf Retinue, to just walk them in circles for a while if we have to. I want you guys actually out front to get a volley off. And then... Make sure that... They didn't surprise... They surprised me. Right? No. They're heading for us. I thought... Come on, guys. I thought I got you moving. Let's get moving, guys. Let's get over here. So, we're heading to here. And I think we're going to get there in time. You guys head over to here. And single file as much as possible. Make you walk a little easier, a little faster. All right, so you guys are heading over. They're hot on your tails. Are they actually following you? It's questionable. They could still be heading for the battlefield. But we are kind of right in that line. So one more time, the battlefield... Show the battlefield location. is still over here. So I still am not sure if I'm right. Now, I'm... That angle is different. It's not going to the battlefield. They've latched on to, uh, to my guys. So let's prove it. Let's take you guys over here. Though not too far over there, over here. We go, we lose too much ground, they're going to eventually catch up to us. Are you guys going to actually shift? And start to turn this direction. Battlefield's clear over here. So straight at them. They are not follow they're not going to the battlefield anymore. Okay, so we're luring them over to here and right into the best that we can offer, though I could still can I still? Is there a there's a 45. There is. Um, I can only afford them for one month. So is it gonna do any good? And do we have any chance of getting 250 gold back in time to pay the king? Let's do it. Sign the contract. Mercenaries, the Wayward Sons. I've never done mercenaries before. So pause. What does that mean? Are you in here? You are. You guys, double click. Oh, you're over here? Oh, that was an awfully nice of you. Okay, can I grab you like that? I can. Not at a run. Get over here as well, and we're going to this area. So head back into here. And I hate to say it, but those guys are cannon fodder. So they will be out on the front lines. That's that's unfortunately the fate of a merc. You, you, you use them. Can I get out of that? Yep. You use them to save your own folks. So we're flat broke. We are flat broke. Um, let's get back into Gandalf. And I guess ramp this back up again, unfortunately. So taxes, we're going to take you to 10. So you guys are moving in. There's really nothing else that I can think of to do to uh, to gain any more advantage here. I know that this is going to go way past an hour, so I might just cut out the part of waiting for everyone to get here. Alright, there's our Gandalf retinue. Rolling through the frozen forest, knowing full well that this army is on their tails. Now, is there a point at which we can get too far ahead and they will lose track of us? Don't think so. These guys have not been able to keep themselves together the whole time. Yeah, I've noticed that walking through here. Um, but they're still following. 
right here. At least they kind of are. They seem, seem to be going off at a different angle. Oh, they're they're all realigning now and switching over. Okay, so that must be following a grid of some some kind, trying to keep track. Um, these guys are over here. So you are the Gandalf militia, Polar militia. Let's put you guys right over here, backing these guys up. Like so, and at the last minute I'll shove you through and help them out directly. Um, you guys, I want to get off the first volley. And let's set you guys to fire at will. And I just start taking them out as they're coming, and then as they start to get close, we'll run them back. Yeah, I think we'll set you to run. So you'll run back. We'll keep you out of harm's way as much as possible. Balanced, stand your ground, push forward. So when they're doing melee, I guess that means, or missile alert. Okay, you guys will stand your ground beyond that, as far as, as in other words, defensive. Okay, not, the distance is not closing in, so we're fine there. Click away. You guys, I've got set for pretty much single file for walking more conveniently into here. So what are we looking at here? I want to make sure that they all come in for this main body. If you set these guys off to a side and off to a side, a new message. There's a good chance that they will divert and go for the weaker one and miss this thing altogether. What are you guys up to now? I can make it worth your while if you drop all of your claims. Drop all of my claims. What does that mean? I have a claim on three. He'll give me 228 to drop my claims. In other words, to give him the, the land? Or to give up my own three? isn't written that well. We're not talking about multiple claims in this battle. To drop all of your claims. Sign and sealed. I don't know if that shuts down our ability to... I, I, that, that ends the battle, I'm pretty sure of that. It gives us money. But then he gets the claim and we get money out of it? I still don't know that that's good. I don't know. It would be like taking two bandit camps. Money-wise. Or we get to find out what our first real battle is like. Alright, we're going to write back. And you have no rightful claim to those two? I may withdraw my claim for such a price. My claims are non-negotiable. My claims are non-negotiable. Drop paragraph here. There we go. And you have no right to the other ones either. Is that a thing? That's not a thing. Okay, so the one that we're dealing with is my claims are non-negotiable. Okay. I have this much influence, but I can't use it. Negotiation or declaration. So I'm committing to battle or I'm giving them the province. I think that's what that means. I'm putting my foot down. No. Okay. You. Game is paused. And we're we're still winning. <laughs> Where are we? You guys are here. What happens? Uh, you guys are taking a hit there. Okay. So you're still on your way in. I'm not willing to give up. It may be foolhardy. Um, I've got two other units coming in. That's right. Oh, they're all bows. I didn't realize they were all bows. Oh, okay. Well, then let's set you guys over here. Like so. Nice and wide. Like that. And let's set you guys nice and wide over here and we're gonna send a, a buttload of arrows into uh, into those guys when they first go through the uh, the issue of having to cross the river 
I like that. You guys are shoot at will. Allow friendly fire, shoot at will. And you guys, there and there, shoot at will. You guys come on across the river. You guys have got quite a surprise waiting for you. Now, we're first going to be attacking them. I don't see them charging our guys, so it's these guys who are going to charge. Okay, and we'll just keep leading up, you know, with the uh, the archer squads back into these guys. And then these guys will hopefully go around, coming from behind. Our archers will hide back here, and then they'll move back in and find a position to, to fire at. And yeah, it's it's getting fun. It's getting dicey. Here they come. Okay, they're getting close, but they're shifting sideways. This one is, at least. So, you're going around to fire arrows. That's what you're doing. Okay. So, let's get you guys in a little closer. And something like that. So, you get, you're able to shoot sooner. You guys, if I click on you... Uh... Like so, do I get... I do. I get a Sphere of Influence. You're just getting... Actually, you're getting into all of them right now. They're firing. So, what does that mean? Boom, 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 boom. They're running now. Pause. A lot of arrows coming in. You guys are running. So, everyone's got to run now. Which means we need to be at a run. To get out of here in time. You're a run. You're a run. And you already are. Okay. How far do I let them go? They're heading for this group right now. Let's pull you guys back at a run to here. And two wide should be enough. There. And soon I'm going to pull... And I, I remember my practice game. It took them the longest time to actually obey me. So do it again and do it again. Now they'll obey me. So it's like if they're in the middle of drawing, then they miss the command entirely. You guys, time to pull you back to... We're going all the way to here. Let's get you back to like so, double wide, and pull, and pull, and pull. All right, are you all running now? Yeah, now they're all running. And you guys, let's do the same thing. Bring you back into about like so. Now they're moving. They're moving, they're moving. Are they going to get another shot before they're overwhelmed? The idea is to stop, fire, stop, fire, stop, fire. They're firing at will. They're getting whatever is the closest to them. Okay. Dare we do one more? Not with our guys. You guys, did you fire? You did. Let's get one more round. Okay, that's probably good enough. Let's pull you guys back to here. Right there. You're all running. Okay. And... Boy, they're going to follow them. If I put them back here where they're safe, they're not going to shoot because they're not set for friendly fire. But they could get one more round in. They could. You guys actually go here. Mm, problem with that, though, is that they're going to push their way through and everything's going to be upset for quite a while. It's going to take them a while to get there. Yeah. All right, you're going here. You're going there. You'll get one more shot off, and then you'll get out of there. You guys can stay for a little bit. You guys need to go. So you set to missile alert. These guys are probably... No, they're not firing yet. They're going up high. They are definitely going up high, which means you guys need to go take them out. So, are you Samwise? You're Gandalf. And there's 27 of you. Okay. So, you guys need to reposition over here as fast as you can. As fast as you can. Come on, guys. Yeah, you're... You're barely going to get there, and we're about to hit over here. So you guys come all the way in to here, like that. You guys go in front of them, right there. 
you guys. You guys head over to. Actually, I don't want you in the trees. They it, they have an issue with trees. Yeah, they're they're a little afraid of them. What to do with you guys? You're going to. Boy, I just. I guess you're just in the trees. Let's just pull into here for now, and let's bring you guys back even further. So you guys head all the way back into like so. And are you moving? You need to be moving. There you go. You're moving. All right, so you're coming in. You guys are about to hit. So I have got two retinues here in the middle. They seem to be hitting them full force. And then all the pull arms in the back. I could shift the pull arms to work their way through the battle and come around the back side. I could. Though I like it that they are protected by these guys. So that's iffy how we're going to do that. I'm just going to take this one step at a time. You are our archers. You are running. You are their light mercs. You're being chased. Okay. So you guys, and where are, you're there. So just to make sure you guys are definitely pulling into, say, here. And you guys are pulling into right there. And hopefully you will cross paths right at that point. You are all mercs. Those arrows are flying in from these guys. These guys are firing arrows, and they're firing into our guys here. Darn. Yeah. I'd like to put them on shield or yeah, missile alert. You guys actually were on missile alert. You don't need to be anymore. They're not firing at you. So shoot at will and defensive. Okay. You guys are still defensive. You are. These guys need to be on missile alert, but I don't want to distract them. Uh, pull away. I want them to go and do their thing. And I need you guys in there too. So let's just line you guys up right behind them too deep. Uh, no, we're going to go the whole length. Make sure that there are pull arms at every point of this. Okay, well, you guys can fire at will. Although it's possible that some of them won't because our guys are right in front of them. But we'll just fire at will and we'll keep doing that. Okay, now our bow and arrow dudes need to be back here so pull through as fast as you can do it do it do it pull through do it do it do it do it okay they're through for the most part it's possible we lost someone in there all of these are coming in oh this is bad because as soon as i switch our guys to missile defense our melee defense is halved and we're going up against their retinue. So that's, we're, we're dead either way. We need to distract all this by two things. One, we need to get our pole arms in there. So let's just make that happen. You guys, wherever you are, get in there. And then we need to get our spears to take these guys out as soon as possible. They're running. They're, where are the arrows? Bow and arrows. Over there, there they are. Can I get you guys over there and take those bow and arrows out? You guys are doing what? You're engaging us. You are. These are our spear militia. Okay. You guys. Yeah. You guys form up like this. Actually, like this. Form up like that and then march to here. And then shoot at will. Let's see what happens there. Who do we have over here? We have not utilized these guys yet. So you guys need to quickly just take them out. So you're going here. You guys are heading to here. Get in there, take them out. Pause what's happening here. So some of them are not engaged. We are just a mess of spears and everything else. You are the bow and arrows, and you can't fire because I don't have you set to take out our own guys in order to get their guys. Can you shoot over the top? You cannot, so now you're just, you're just cheerleaders. That's no good. Okay, so over here is just this one little rabble. They're not important. I need you guys to fire full bore into them. 
Can I do that? Where are you guys going? You're coming around the back side of my guys. You guys need to be right there as fast as you can. Get in there, at a run, and start taking them out. And there they go. Okay, our spear militia. Click out of this so that I don't move anybody. You guys are 27. I think I started with about that. That's his Gandalf. Yeah. We have 36 of these guys that are attacking them. They look like spear militia too. And we have another one. We have another 36 coming into this. These guys are in trouble. What can I do to help them? We have two retinues taken on their retinue. Let's get our pole arms out of there and into this. I need you guys here as fast as you can get there. Just like that, which is going to cancel these guys soon. But they can get a, a number of, of arrows into there to begin with. But you guys head in. You guys are now R2 against their, their 1. So they started off at 36. They're down 10. We started off at 24 and 20. We're down 3. We're not doing too bad here. Over here, you guys are 36, 36. We were 27. We're at 25. And we've got 31 arrows firing into there. Though they're going to be out of commission here because we're in their way. So we need to give them another round of shots and then move them off to the side back over here again. These are arrows flying in from here. These guys are getting into place to take them out. So we have bows against bows. Yeah, not the best. But we are even odds. And maybe we'll distract them and give these guys a chance. I don't know. I'm going to run for a little bit. You're running in. And now you guys are just a cheerleader squad. You guys get over to to here as soon as you can and you can be three deep you can be three deep let's see what happens there numbers over here 25 from 36 19 and 22 and we are fighting now can we reposition or will we harm ourselves um so we're all set to stand our ground is there an advantage here we're stacked on top of each other if we get one to push forward, will it do us any good? I don't know. We could get one to pull back. Now, if I reposition, I don't think I can. Red is their guys. They're almost all of them are over here. So if I grabbed a retinue, what does our retinue look like? Retinue looks like these guys. So you are the Gandalf retinue. You're all of them. Where is the Samwise retinue? Uh, 19, that's you. Did the circles move? It did. So, right there. Okay. Let's reposition you guys into here, I guess. Now, let's go more like there. More like that. And... Oh, I see. You were balanced. Stand your ground and move in. Is there anybody else who's not stand your ground? You are Spear Militia. I thought I said everybody for stand their ground. Wow. Interesting. Did I not? Okay, so where are these guys right now? So, bad guys are there. We're down to 12. Let's, these guys are doing any number of things. I can't really tell what's going on. If I click on you, let's see, I gotta get out of there. Can I click on you to see where the red ones are? I can just pass over. Okay, you're really spread out. Okay, you guys are almost done here. You really are. So, you guys, push forward. Um, push forward. The arrows, you as well, push forward. What happens there real quick? Do you guys give up and surrender? 10, 9, 8, and 7. You're 5. You're going to keep going the whole way. Okay. So you guys are firing into there at will. 
and you guys are firing where? You're still volleying into that mess right over there. You really are. So these guys aren't even being targeted, are they? 36? You guys are 36. We're not doing a lot of damage. Okay, over in here, this is what? 20 versus 236s over here, plus the, the bowmen. So you guys are the bowmen. I wanted you to try to get over here if you could. Like so, and get onto the other side. Can I do that? Our pull arms are in there too. Those that can pull away are. Bad guys are. They're attacking them somewhat. Okay, somebody gave up. Is it over here? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, so you are. Who are you? No, over here is where I thought I was. We're over here. Okay. So you guys are all done. Let's get Spears into this and get these guys to all give up. As soon as this area gives up, so you guys are heading into, into here as fast as you can. You are these guys, Spear Militia, Samwise. And nobody, we haven't taken a single loss over there. I need you guys to you are the retinue or the uh, the mercs to what help out over here where is over here I need you guys over here as fast as you can at a full run uh pull arms are there you need to be over here you need to be over here you don't have to run quite as far but a full run get it in there okay you guys are still 36 you guys are still 36 come on take some of them out and these guys, I can tell you guys to be more careful now. 17, 27, 16. Let's get the 22. Where are the bad guys at? The 22, it's these guys that are in trouble. You guys there, bad guys. Let's have you guys set to missile alert. You're taking the most damage. They're probably... You guys are the closest ones. You're the ones they're aiming at. You guys, now that I've done that, you're repositioning. Okay, you're, you're 32 now. Who are you? You are them. You just There's your banner. Okay. And you guys are turning. No, you're taking, you're taking casualties. Okay. Now, what was that, that yell? The retinue gave up. Ooh, the retinue gave up. Okay. They gave up. I need you guys as fast as you can right into this mess. Just like that, just dive in. You guys as well, dive in. And you are all going to be missile alert until we deal with these guys. Can I spare anybody? Yeah, pull arms. We're, no, pull arms are there. I need spears. You guys, get into here. Take these guys out. Just get straight into there. You guys are all on missile alert. I need pull arms. I need you guys. Oh, I can't give you guys missile alert. So it's just these guys. They're running. They're running in. These guys are heading over to help. These guys are repositioning. They're being mowed down. They are being mowed down. Okay, that's good to see. They're going to give up here real soon. And now they are... They don't know what they're doing. Okay. Somebody just gave up. You guys are rah, rah, rah. No, I, I need you guys in here, guys. Um, <laughs> thanks for the cheerleading squad, but uh, you get your butts in there. Do it. You guys can't do a thing. You can't find a single soldier to take out, huh? You guys. You guys against you guys. I think they're all gone. You guys get over here. Do that. Who's left over here? They are gone. They've been mowed down. Okay, so you guys get into here the best that you can. Let's surround these guys and wipe out what's left of them. So you're running in so you can shoot some arrows. And you're still in action. So you guys take them out. 
best you can, get in there, and they're gone. They're broken. That was the last of them. Oh, boy. Gandalf Spear Militia is gone. They were the ones that got stuck in the middle. Yeah, they're gone. Unfortunately. Whew. Gandalf's retinue is still mostly intact. We have 24. Samwise Militia is still there. Um, pole arms. We lost almost all of our pole arms in Gandalf. Gandalf hurt. That was quite the battle for them. Samwise retinue went down from 20 to 13. Uh, Archer Militia, we were at 27, I want to say. And so we didn't lose much. Okay. Wow. That was a battle. You guys, I think we can turn loose. Is that done here? Disband unit? So we don't end up paying another month's worth? I think it is. So are we truly done? We're all red. We're red. We're all red. Okay. So what happens? They lost their claim. They're not going to go after it. That doesn't mean they're not going to go after it again here real soon. So, I don't know what I gained other than the experience of what it's going to take to take out one of, one of uh, um, Vanderbolt's, whatever his name is, uh, attacking forces. It harmed us. We're not really there yet to do it. It did hurt us. Okay. So, I guess all of Gandalf, I can... I can disband. I could. Let's run everybody in. Gandalf. Gandalf. Actually, the retinue I can just undo. You guys are done. So you. Samwise. Gandalf. Samwise. Gandalf. Let's run you guys home. We are there. So let's just run you guys to here. And Samwise. You are there. And retinue there. You guys run into here. I need to reset that. So you and you and you run. Okay, that's all done. You guys can disband and we're done. We're done. <laughs> oh, that was painful. We're over here and we have quite the corpse laden battlefield who are you spear militia so you guys are you not assigned maybe you're not okay so you are over there let's run you in to home and we'll go ahead and uh, march them in and release them there that's everybody okay unfortunately the first time we've had to do it I gotta figure out where I'm at now right there we need families in the church now it still says we're in battle status but two families there and one family church is up there turn you off and one family down in the corpse pit which is clear down over here and yeah, put one in there and I may need to pull the family out here and there and kind of get more uh, more hands on deck to, to help do this. We're going to be short-handed for a month while everybody goes into mourning. So let's pull somebody out of there and pull somebody out of here. And we're not going to be doing any building for a while. Put you guys all into here. A lot of corpses out there. And actually, no. One to handle those dead and everybody else to handle our own. Right there. Okay. Yep, I guess that is a uh, that is a battle. That was a lesson learned. You are Samwise. You are us. You can dip, disband, go home. You can... You're right over there. Disband you, go home. You are disband. You are heading in, both of these guys. As soon as they cross the border, I'll disband them. And I'm probably way, 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 way over an hour, most likely. It's going to be a long episode. But that was our first experience of taking on this dude. Taking on Hilderbolt von Berenroot. 
And he does pack a punch. And he's got 36 retinue. I still want to know how to do that. This thing was pretty clear when it told us that we can only have one. Um, right there, Garrison. Extra 12, limited one per region. So most I can do is 24 in a retinue. So is that his 36 to our potentially three times 24? Maybe that's how that works. We need to collect some gold. <laughs> and we have less, well, we have less people now to uh, be charged a king's tax from. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go lick my wounds. And uh, yeah, that was an experience. And I will catch you next episode. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye now.